Hello YouTube, this is Bash bringing you here for week 7. We are up against my great pal, my good pal, my my bro from the past, Mega Oshawa here. Um, definitely check him out. Uh, I'll put his link in the description below. He's a very old friend of mine, back from PSL seasons a uh, long time ago. Uh, when I first uploaded, started uploading on this channel. So definitely check him out. He's an amazing guy. Uh, so, and also in the below, there will be a team builder. Definitely click, uh, check that out in the description below. So, <laughs> his team uh, consists of Tapu Lele, Heatran, Halucha, Thunder T, uh, Mega Kangaskhan, Crooked Eye, Primarina, Alakazam, Violet, and Lantern. With Z Captains being Tapu Lele and Lantern, my team consists of Alone, Muck, Suicune, Scizor, Don, uh, Don Fan, Sylveon, Mega Latios, uh, <laughs> Conkelder, Jolteon, Dormanitan, Regirock, Gogo, and Meowstic. The Sea Captains being Gogo and Donphan. So I'll go really brief over what my team is uh, and what I expected in his team and what he ended up going with. Uh, my Lone Muck is a mixed defensive set with Recycle, Knockoff, Poison Jab, uh, Brick Break. We got Sweet Cone that's mixed as a defense as well with Wrestling Attack or Scald. We got Choice Scarf, Scizor with Iron Head, U Turn, Superpower Bug uh, Return event. Don Fan with uh, leftovers with Stealth Rocks, Ice Shard, Rapid Spin, Earthquake, uh, more Spadef wise, Sylveon, Max HP, Max Defense ish kind of thing, leftovers, a Hyper, a hyper Voice, HP, Grand Wish, Protect, and Mega Audios, uh, setup uh, with Jolly, uh, Max Attack, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Zen Headbutt, Shadow Claw. So <clears throat> going into this matchup here, one thing I saw. I was super excited not to see the Halucha. Uh, Halucha is his number one killer. It's leading in leagues and kills. It's like 19 and 1, 19 and 2, or something like that. 19 kills, 1 death kind of thing. It's absolutely insane. And I prepped for that because that thing is terrifying. Um, so uh, I had to make sure uh, I prepped for that and made sure that um, I was ready for that. But he didn't even bring it. So kudos to him because he <laughs> I put some prep in for that. So. <laughs> um, he ends up bringing Tapu Lele, Heatran, Mega Kangaskhan, Primarina, Crocodile, Thunderous, Tarion. That means Z Captain would probably have to be. If he brings a Z move, it's going to be on Tapu Lele. Uh, even though I do not think it's that likely, I feel like his scarf is very likely on his part. Um, okay, team matchup. I do think Lele Scarf. I do think Heatran is Shookaberry. I think Mega Kangaskhan is like a very offensive set. Primarina. Uh, probably more defensive and crooked out as well. And Thunderous Tarion is a setup mod. That's probably what I'm thinking based off of team matchup right here. Um, and because of that, I'm just going to lead off with Don Fan. I think that he'll try to lead off with uh, Heatran and Crooked out to get rocks up. But I was either debating leading Scizor or Don Fan. But I think Heatran's more of a likely uh, uh, first mod to uh, set up uh, to. Uh, to lead with. So I'm going to lead with Don Fan. As I do lead Donvan, Zanzibar here, and he actually does lead Heatran. And this guy is balls of steel. As I'm gonna try to click Stealth Rex, I don't think he's staying in. Um, <laughs> there's no way I think I think he's gonna stay in. And this guy has balls of steels and clicks Taunt, um, which is fine. But I, uh, if I went for Earthquake first turn and just not over predict kind of thing, I <laughs> this thing would have been pretty much dead, like dead almost, even with like. With the Shuka, it would have done. I wouldn't have done as much, but it still would have done a decent amount. So, and he would have been in a very bad position. But he makes the balls of plays and go. Then goes out to Crooked Out, gets intimidated off. I go for the earthquake. I believe I go out to the Sylveon here. Yeah, I go out to Sylveon here on this play. Um, he goes for rocks, and I believe I go for HP Ground, predicting the Heatran to come back in. Um, so I go for that. Pop the Shuka. We are looking pretty spicy now. And I believe I go into Suicune here. Um on the uh on the and he goes for Toxic, that's fine. I know he's taunt, so I'm gonna make the double out to Donphan, knowing that he's going for taunt here. Uh, I don't think there's any way he's not going for it. So I'm gonna go out to Donphan. Uh, I can get my own rocks up, I could rabbit spin, I could EQ. He goes for text showing that he is a taunt toxic um 
protects it. So this is a very stolid Heatran. As I believe I get my own rocks up here. Yeah, I get my own rocks up here. He goes to Primarina. I'm going to go up to Suicune. Suicune can check this pretty decently well unless he specs Energy Ball right now. Um, and he is, in fact, not. He's not offensive at all. He's pretty much no special attack whatsoever. So I could get a free rest off here um, to make sure I get up to higher health kind of thing. I don't want that Toxic to keep uh, keep me up there. He goes for Moonblast. Doesn't do much at all either. As you see, two leftovers recovery is going to probably take that uh, out. And I'm going to go for Sleep Talk. I'm going to roar him out, I think. Uh, here, yep, I roar Primarina out. Looking very good. Gets us to Heatran. I, I'm gonna go for sleep talk again. Uh, Heatran can't do much to me other than taunt. That's perfectly fine, um, because I could just gold it next turn. But so that's fine with me. Um, I'm gonna go for the scald, I believe. He goes to protect. Um, just kind of what I could do. I could go for the earthquake. I could have switched it to Dolphin there, but uh, I'm just going for the scald there. And he goes for toxic. That's fine. I could go for another Scald. I think on this turn I go into Dawn Fan predicting the Protect. I know that's coming. Or the Taunt. I believe Taunt actually is coming more likely to come right now. I go to Dawn Fan here and I know the Taunt's coming or the Protect. One of the two are coming. And I'm just going to Rapid Spin here. Um, I'm going to force him to get, uh, to want to get rid of Rocks here. Goes for the Lava Plume. Doesn't do too much to me. I get the Rapid Spin off here. That's perfectly good. Uh, fine. And now I can go for Earthquake and take this thing out. Um, he goes for Lava Plume, brings me down lower, uh, and that's fine. Uh, Donphan was just here to get Brock's Rapid Spin kind of thing. Uh, provide a shared pressure on Thundee, I guess, but that's fine. So he goes down to Crooked Owl. Uh, I believe I just click Rapid Spin here, and he goes for Earthquake, takes me out. That's perfectly fine. I can go now here on this turn. I could go out to Scizor here. That's what I'm planning on doing, and I'm gonna go for the U-turn. I'm thinking that it will probably kill here um, based off the calc I'm having right now. Uh, I'm not intimidated. I think it's going to kill, but he actually lives. Turns out the roll, uh, he was a very bulky crooked out, and the roll was in his favor. So it doesn't really, uh, it's all right. So he goes for rocks there, and <sighs> I'm just going to go for a wish here and make sure I get up to more higher health because I love Sylveon at high health, of course. Uh, and he goes for the knockoff. Takes off my leftovers. That's perfectly fine. I'm fine with that because I'm gonna be back up pretty much at full here. So I think 99% here. Um, yep, we're gonna be at 99%. So we're looking, we're chilling here. Goes out to Tapu Lele. Um, sets up the Psychic Terrain. I'm gonna go for Protect, and he's gonna reveal Nature's uh, Madness. So this is making me think I'm. It's not Scarf. I'm thinking it's Z Move here. Um, probably trying to catch the Lone Muck here. But he goes out to Mega Kangaskhan here. I'm going to go for the Wish, and I'm going to make the plane to Scizor. I don't think he's going for Fire Punch. I don't know what he's going to do here. And uh, if he goes for a turn, I get back up to full health here, pretty much. Um, so I get the Wish off. He goes for Wish himself, and I'm going to U-turn here. And it turns out that he is pretty much max HP, max defense, kind of like a King of Scott. So this is a pain to deal with. As I U-turn out to see if he had Fire Punch. Uh, it goes for a turn, so that means Scizor could do pretty well against this if I had Roost. If I had Roost, this Scizor would pretty much wall this thing, but, you know, whatever. Uh, as Suicune, is, I'm able to get a, a rest off here, and I'm able to deal pretty well with this uh, Mega King's gone with Suicune here. Um, I could probably even stall it out if I really need to be, uh, but... That's never something I want to do, so, to a good pal of mine, but... I'm going to go for Sleep Talk here, get Rest, that's unfortunate. He gets a Wish off, and I believe he goes into try to go into Thunderous to try to, uh, he's going to try to go into Thunderous to try to set up on me. I go for Sleep Talk again, and I fire off the Roar, and I get cast Thunderous there, so now he's at 75% kind of thing. Um, Tapu Lele does get the Wish, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So, I believe I can go into Scizor here, making the hard play that he will not click HP Fire. Uh, he goes for Moonblast. Doesn't do too much to me. And I could go for the Iron Head here and put on some decent pressure here. He goes into Pre Marina, and this reveals that he actually has max HP, like max defense kind of set, set there. So that's pretty good, something to note. He's a lot, which is very surprising to me because I think, I feel like if I brought a special attacking Megalodios, the Megalodios would pretty much sweep at this point. But um, that's something to note. 
He goes for protection, revealing that, so that's interesting. He is very stally. He has a very stally couple sets with Heatran. Um, Kang, possibly, and the Primarina as well. And I'm gonna just go for a Scald, as he's gonna reveal the. He's gonna go to make a Kang Scald. I'm gonna go for the Scald here. Trying to get. I'm gonna try to catch this burn. I get a crit. It's not really gonna matter too much. He goes for a Wish. I believe I Scald again, trying to get the burn. I'm not going to get it, but I'm going to roar out on this turn uh, so he doesn't get the wish because my goal is to get rid of this, uh, is to keep this Mega King is kind of low so that Mega Lottis can put in a lot more work. I get the roar back into Primarina and I'm Primarina is able to, I'm able to deal with Primarina pretty well with at this point with Suicune as I already know. I get to go for a Skull trying to get a burn. Nope, we're not getting a burn. He goes off the Toxic, which is annoying, but I can just rest that off anyway because I could rest this off against Primarina. Um, which is pretty nice. He goes into Mega's Kangaskhan here. I believe I go for the rest. Yeah, I go for the rest. And I believe I go into the uh, Lolan Muck here. Um, he goes for Wish. And <laughs> turns out he's sub. So, and I don't even break it with Brick Break. So this is a very stally Mega Kangaskhan here. And could absolutely be walled by my Scizor here. Um, which is very interesting to know. I, if I brought a uh, more of a, a setup scissor, I could just probably sweep use with this uh, with scissor right now. But um, oh well. So he goes for a turn. I'm gonna go for a poison jab, and I get the poison. Uh, it's like a 30% chance anyway, and it's not like it's a toxic kind of thing, but it's gonna wear him down, which is really nice for me, especially since I didn't get into the skull burns earlier uh, with uh, sweet Coon. So he's gonna keep getting poison damage going. I'm gonna go for the poison jab or brick break. I go for the brick break. Probably should have went for the poison jab, but it's oh oh well. He gets a wish up, and he's go I'm just gonna go for the poison jab again. He switches out to Mega Kane's gun. I don't know what he's predicting. Maybe he's predicting Sylveon to come in or the Mega Latios to come in or something like that. But and now <laughs> Mega Kane's gun is pretty much dead here. He's not gonna be able to get a wish up as I'm gonna be able to take him out. Here with the poison jab. Now, at this point, he's down to three mods, but I have still have five. Uh, he's gonna go out to pre Marina. I'm gonna recycle off. I could pretty much one v one this pre Marina at this point. Um, uh, I believe even if he gets a burn, I could still one v one it with recycle kind of thing. So it's just a matter of I don't want Thunderous Tarion to set up because Thunderous Tarion by is right now his scariest mod. It's his wing con. Uh, it's the scariest one. I need to make sure I don't let that thing set up on me. I'm gonna go for a recycle again here. Um, make sure I'm in a decent amount of health. He's gonna keep scrolling. He has doesn't get he's not getting any burns right now. I mean I didn't get any burns earlier too, so it's kinda like eh, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep uh I'm gonna go for another poison jab, I believe. Yep, I go for another poison jab. I'm just gonna try uh, I'm gonna try to we get this thing down enough to the fact where uh I can make sure that I, I can switch out to another mod and try to make sure that Thunderous does not set up on a wrong mod. Which I finally get I get the poison again, uh, which is nice. And at this point, I'm gonna hard switch out into Sylveon. And there's a reason why I'm gonna do this because I don't want Thunderous setting up on me, and Thunderous cannot set up with Sylveon in. Uh, he does get the Skull Burn finally. He gets the Skull Burn, uh, but which is kind of annoying. But oh well. I'm gonna go for the Wish here on this turn. Uh, he goes for Moonblast, brings me really low. Uh, and if here's the thing, I go for the wish, and Primarina dies. So here's the thing: if he goes Tapu Lele, I'm clicking Protect, getting back up to higher health. If he goes Thunderous, I'm clicking Hyper Voice. I am not letting him set up. Um, Hyper Voice into Return from Scizor will take out Thunderous here. Choice Scarf uh, with Choice Scarf Scizor. So that's something to note. But I will not let this thing set up on me. I will not let this thing because this thing is the only way that can you bring this game back. And I'm not gonna let that happen. He goes. He goes for Thunderbolt. That's perfectly fine. That means I get to bring my Mega Latios here, and I'm gonna fire off a Zen Headbutt here, and that's gonna do a ton of damage to Thunderous here. As uh, he reveals agility as I expected he was gonna be set up. He's probably do double dance at this point I think if I remember correctly uh, He's dark. He goes for the dark post does an incredible amount and I'm gonna go for Zen headbutt and take out the thunderous So this is looking very good for us um, And now he goes out to top Lele and shadow claw should be able to pick up the kill But he ends up revealing to be scarf. So he's scarf with nature's power, which is very 
cool tech, uh, which is very cool. I did not expect that. Uh, I expected Scarf to come. I did not expect that to come with Nature's Madness. But at this point, Alone Muckus should be able to beat this thing. Um, even with... Uh, even with the terrain up kind of thing. And at this point, um, Scissor can uh, Scissor can take a Moon Blast to take it out anyway with uh, Iron Head. So I'm gonna go for the Poison Jab here. Bring this thing low, um, t so I have uh, enough HP kind of thing. Bring this thing very very low, and this thing is pretty much one hit away from dying. As I'm gonna just go for another Poison Jab and clean up a kill. As oh Muck picked up three kills this match, looking very good, looking very 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 good. So. We are, uh, we do move on to six and one plus twelve. Uh, Mega Oshawa does drop unfortunately, um, but he's he's a really good guy, uh, and you should definitely check him out. He's as I said, long time uh, friend. So uh, good luck to you in the rest of the season. GG in this match, uh, and hopefully we see each other again. Uh, hopefully in playoffs. So. Uh, that's it for this. That's it for this video. Um, thank you all so much for watching. As I said before, definitely check out Mega Oshawa in the description below and the team builder if you want an exp explanation for the sets. But until next time, uh, which I think you're playing King Clyde next. So until uh, who's an admin in the server, which is pretty cool. So um, until next time, bash.